image um it's saying does having a day job mean making better art right so it kind of breaks an amazing article I'll, I'll link it into the top into the um, notes at the bottom of the video or at the bottom of uh, in the description of the podcast if you listen to it and above the video so you can check out yourself a uh, great new york times article and basically it kind of uh, analyzes those people in history who kind of were able to balance their occupation with also their kind of like side hobbies on the side it kind of points out this albanian president or prime minister who's also an artist a renowned artist who's able to balance both things it pronounces other people who are able to like maybe have a day job and then do their kind of um, creative endeavors from six to one. The kind of, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk method of like, you know, it's not what you're doing. It's not what, it's not how many hours you sleep. It's what you're doing when you're awake. So it's the idea of like, okay, if you've got a full-time job, please use the time that you have outside of the full-time job to do the things you need to do. And once I say that, let me pause one minute and get my uh, super potato fries out of the oven. Not the fridge this time. <laughs> Okay, and I'm back. So done. It looks nice and crispy and tasty. Might show them later, or maybe not. Um, anyway, yeah, um, it's a great article, really, really good article because it does speak a lot. Of, it does um, point out a lot of things that I've kind of um, felt were very important, it, especially the idea that um, it's it's very important that, especially if you're doing something, especially if you're if you're not looking to make a career in a job that you're doing right now, right, you're not looking to stay there for the rest of your life and you want, you have other aspirations and dreams and things that you want to do, it's very important to pick a job that is able to either feed your curiosity or doesn't take that much out of your create, it doesn't take much energy out of you. So then when you finish work, you can start doing your creative shit outside of work. That's the most important thing I've learned because I think, other jobs I've had where on paper they're amazing jobs, right? Great title, amazing salary, great benefits and shit. It takes out so much out of you that there's nothing, you have nothing left. You have no, no creative energy, no creative ideas left in order to kind of do your thing outside of work. Now, that might just be me not pushing myself more. I might need more discipline. I might need to push myself harder. I might need to commit more time to my projects and shit. That could be true. But I think I've been able to consistently do the stuff that I'm doing now in terms of the podcast, in terms of DJing, in terms of uh, writing on my blog, in terms of sometimes taking pictures and shit. I'm able to do that more often now because I'm doing a job that doesn't require, that doesn't tax my mind as much as it sh as much as much other jobs had, have done, right? But there is also another aspect of it, which, mean, which, uh, which I'm also sometimes a lot more annoyed at, especially with people that are creative, where it's like, even if the job isn't that taxing to your mind, you still have to do it to a good level to like you just have to do it well so that you can carry that same momentum into your creative work because it goes it's that adage that people a lot of people say where or it's a saying that goes something along the lines of how you do some how you do one thing is how you do everything right or how you do something is how you do everything so the idea behind it is that if you're gonna half half shit at work even if it's easy then you're gonna half half shit outside of outside you can't necessarily just turn it on and turn it off it doesn't it doesn't happen you have these stories of people who kind of like say oh i couldn't do that so i just walked out and did my own thing I don't necessarily think that's a good way of going about things. It doesn't necessarily build a good um, work ethic, in my opinion, personally. I think you should treat... If you're, I remember when I used to sweep floors in shops and shit and be a sales and I wasn't any sort of manager, I used to take pride in it. I used to take pride in being able to relay shoes and being able to like keep standards on the shelf and um, educate myself about products and go out my way to make sure customers feel welcomed and comfortable and shit. Because I felt that if I were able to do that well... It would, it would inevitably lead on to me doing other things outside of my, um, my kind of occupational life world too. And again, it's a balance because in life, obviously, you don't get that. Sometimes you don't get the benefit of having to, of being able to work a job that is um, not that taxing, doesn't take that much out of you, um, energy, uh, not, not that many taxes, doesn't, doesn't take that much out of you physically, um, pays okay, does, you have to travel too far, has a good kind of like work-life balance in terms of, you know, the people you work with that you actually like hanging out with and you don't take that much time out of your day, blah, 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 and you actually enjoy it. It's very difficult to get those things right. But I think the most important thing to get right is the idea of like, if you're going to work somewhere and you're going to do creative stuff outside of it, you have to kind of make sure that it's either something that is going to feed your curiosity or your creativity or isn't going to take that much out of your creativity so you can apply it once you leave.
and it, that this article does a really good job of kind of analyzing that. Cause I think that's a bit that people don't really speak about too much. Cause I think the idea of having a job and doing art on the side is kind of um, self-explanatory, right? If you live in a metropolitan city and your parents aren't rich and you don't have any inheritance and you don't have a trust fund, then you're gonna have to get a job anyway in order to get pay rent. It's just standard, right? Unless you get lucky and someone decides to uh, be your kind of saint patron, your patron or some shit, right? And give you money every month or whatever, so you can just exist. But for the most part, um, life will dictate that you have to get a job cool and usually people do this thing where they kind of always work part-time jobs so you never really be able to commit to something and plus it's flexible so if you're a bartender you can do you can do um castings and all that sort of stuff during the day and you can maybe write and shit and then kind of work during the night and then do the same thing again the next day so i think that kind of works but i think in general there is that's the kind of thing that's not really spoken about a lot but i think the idea of like being very disciplined in your occupation will definitely definitely help in terms of your creative endeavor i think it's very 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 important something that a lot of people don't really speak about a lot and i think people do kind of take being employed for granted you know the idea someone's paying you every month um consistently um the idea that you have the opportunity if you do if you if you do want to kind of progress in the company you have the opportunity to grow you have people that you work with that kind of want to help kind of see you succeed and shit i think people take advice take that for granted too because there's people out there that don't have anything right for the most part and that's not not to get on my kind of like preachy high horse but it's it's very difficult to get a good job like especially some, something that pays well especially in a, a busy metropolitan city so if you do have one don't take it for granted but also make sure that you're using it you're using the, the resources that they're giving you the opportunity the time the money the security to do actual work right to actually work on your shit for real don't waste time don't waste your time worrying about what kind of is tweeting and shit or whatever people are speaking about in the political in the political landscape it may be especially doesn't affect your life personally concentrate on you concentrate on you your friends your family and everything else will work itself out that's the most important thing but this article is really 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 good i really recommend you check it out um it's by a writer called katie waldman katie waldman in the new york time t magazine but i'll link it in the show notes below i think that's a really really check excellent book you check out